Welcome back Lottie fans. Today I'm going to show you a winning pick four rundown that I've been tracking. I had a request from someone to find a rundown that was working for South Carolina. So I've gone ahead and gone back some of my past rundowns, done some analysis, and uh, this one's been working for not only South Carolina, but also a few other states as well. I tracked it in Michigan and a couple other states, and it's definitely working. But I'm going to show you uh, this example using South Carolina, and then you can go ahead and try it in your states as well. And definitely leave me a comment below if you do this and you notice it running, working in your state. Uh, and go ahead. Uh, I always like to hear those, that kind of feedback. So we're going to go ahead and as this is for the South Carolina and specifically the South Carolina evening pick four. That's where I've been backtracking this. Uh, and uh, we're going to need three results for this. Uh, and uh, I'll show you how to get those three results. It does require a little bit of uh, back checking to go and look at past results to get those results. Uh, but the first thing you do is you want to go ahead and uh, pick your starting day. And I did a, I, I tried a few different days, but I noticed this pattern working specifically for uh, 419 onwards for uh, South Carolina. So we're going to go ahead and take that first result from 4, 419 for the South Carolina e e Evening Lottery. And that was a 6299. Now to get the next two numbers that you need for to fill in this base grid, what we're going to need to do is backtrack through the results and find two other results that start with the number 6. And you'll see why when I fill in the base grid why that's an important number. Uh, but we need to find the two results that fill in the grid. And in South Carolina I actually had to go quite back, quite a way to find these results. Uh, the second one I found was on 4-4, so this one was 4-19 for this result. And then on 4-4 I found the next one that started with a 6 and it was a 6 seven seven eight and i had to track back even further to three two so the second of march uh to find the next one so sixes were definitely hitting uh at the start on the start of the uh results uh, very sporadically for south carolina but i found a six three one four now we're going to take these three numbers we're going to fill in the base grid uh, and we're not going to use a translated grid for this. Uh, we can give that one a skip this time. We didn't actually need it for uh, finding the results. But what we do is we take this first number and we'll fill it across the top line here. So we have a 6, 2, 9, 9. Then we're going to take the next one that we found, which was on the 4th of April, uh, the 6, 7, 7, 8, and we'll fill it in a diagonal there, starting with the 6 in the top left again, but filling it diagonally down into the bottom right. So 7, 7, and then we'll take the last number, the 6314 that we found on the 2nd of March, and we'll fill it in the left-hand column vertically down, once again starting in that 6. That's why we need the three 6s, because they all share the same top left box 6. So 6314. Then we're going to go ahead and use our uh, anti-clockwise counting up method just to fill in these blank spots here. So we'll start with the 8 on the uh, on the bottom right, and we'll count upwards in anti-clock. So we'll go 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So there's our base grid. Now I'll show you where I'm seeing uh, the uh, the hits coming out of this, uh, and uh, there's, there's some very interesting ones coming out of this. Uh, so we started tracking, and then we I started tracking back from 419 onwards to see where it was hitting. Uh, and I got my first hit on 421. So two days later, and we had the result was a 2324. So like two, sorry, a 2323. And interestingly enough, it actually came out straight right here. 2323. Three, two, three. This line right down here. And this is a pattern I'm seeing more and more coming out here, where we have almost a straight down, but it juts out on one of the number, either to the left or to the right, you know, even on the second or the third number, it juts out a little bit. But this was a straight hit right down here. Uh, then the next day we had uh, another hit, so 4.22, we had a 4.438. And this is what really got me interested in this in this rundown for South Carolina because we see it right here right along the bottom line here four three four eight is a four four three eight as a box hit but straight across the bottom right there uh, so one of our traditional patterns hit right back there uh, then moving on we have 428 we had the result 2106 and 
uh, if we look in the uh, in our rundown we have a 6210 right here so another hit right there uh, and then we had on 52 the result was a 9412 and if we look on uh, our rundown I'll change the pen so you can uh, start seeing because it's getting a little bit orange on there we had a 9421 right there so 9412 9421 that's that same pattern again where uh, we see the numbers and it just juts down on that next number right there so same pattern as we saw on 421 there and then finally on 57 which was uh, just yesterday we had the result 9901 and uh, interestingly enough we actually have that pattern twice in here so we have 9091 is this box here or we have it actually as a box right here in the top corner 9901 straight hit right there 9901 taking that box right there so a very powerful button a uh, very powerful rundown rather i would definitely keep an eye on this 9910 because we're seeing it twice in the rundown uh, I have noticed with other rundowns I've done, if we see the pattern twice and it hits once, it typically has a habit of hitting a hitting again. So it might be worth one, uh, one worth paying attention to and playing again. So there we have it. There's a there's the rundown. Working in South Carolina, as I said, I checked in Michigan. It's also working in Michigan right now. Checked a couple other states. It's working in there as well. But definitely go ahead, give this rundown a try. Uh, leave me a comment below if it's working for you. Uh, and give me a thumbs up on the video. Please share this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.